King's Cross is not the smartest area of London, but you can eat extremely well here. 85% of the ingredients used by head chef Oliver Rowe come from London or the surrounding area. He knows all of his suppliers personally. The, the effect on the menu of, of sourcing so locally, of sourcing such seasonal produce, is uh, that it changes all the time. I mean, our, our menu at lunch and our menu at dinner can be um, quite different and from day to day. It's not a complete change because the seasons don't change on the, overnight, but uh, there's a, an evolution and new ingredients come in, plates change as the availability changes. So it, it affects our menu and how we cook in so many ways. Oliver Rowe knows from experience that even in the centre of London, just a few steps from the restaurant, it's possible to find ingredients for gourmet cuisine. Herbs, for example, from a neighbourhood garden project. I've only seen lovages in one other restaurant, um, to be honest, and, and that partly because it's slightly difficult to use, but also because not many people know about it. So sometimes because we're limited, we embrace slightly more unusual uh, uh, um, ingredients than maybe you would normally. So it, 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 it can be limiting, but it's also very freeing. And it's also nice, some of the responsibility is taken away from us because we just say, well, what's available? Lovage will certainly feature on the menu today as a pesto to accompany a fish dish of skate fillets. Oliver Rowe pulls the leaves from the stalks and washes the herbs carefully. Then he chops the lovage. Then there are local spring onions, garlic and the grated peel of a London lemon. But the olive oil comes from Italy, and the fish is also from foreign waters. The skate fillets are seasoned with salt and pepper, then fried briefly on both sides in hot butter. The dish is to be an entree and will be served on rocket salad. Then the lovage pesto is spooned generously over the fish. very light, it's very simple flavours, something slightly unusual in the lovage, um, something people might not expect. The skate cheeks as well are slightly unusual. I love it when the food that we produce makes people have to think a little bit or, or, or approach something that they're not used to. The restaurant interior is unusual too. Several kilometres of metal laces are draped as opulent curtains, shaping the character of the whole room. London architect and designer Thomas Heatherwick has transformed an old Victorian pub into a smart contemporary restaurant. And because his office is so close, he sometimes calls in. So we were trying to think, how could we design a, a restaurant, make light for your food, using the a Victorian building? And that Victorian pub building has these 54 windows. And so we're thinking, we either ignore those windows, but they are the most characterful part of it. It's not a big restaurant. And so we just had a simple idea of sort of taking the light sort of symbolically from outside and taking it and letting it become the lampshade and the light onto each of the tables. Modern dishes made from regional products make visitors to the restaurant realize that nature isn't so very far from central London after all.